So as the final part of the presentation today, I would like to provide a brief introduction to loops. And this introduction is based on some online materials that are freely available, and I would refer you to those for more examples. So you might want to write a loop to both save time and simplify your code as you get to writing longer scripts that have a repetitive nature. Today I'm just going to provide you with an example of a for loop and a while loop. So a for loop takes the form of having for followed by a variable in a sequence and an expression or a series of expressions. So in the example provided here, we have for x when x is equal to 1 through 10 we want to print the square root of x. And so we can get this printout. And there are multiple ways of writing this syntax. And the while loop takes the form of while followed by a condition and then an expression or a series of expressions. And the example here is a Fibonacci series. And so you can see we have a series of commands and our condition, well, b is less than 50, followed by a series of expressions so that we obtain a Fibonacci series as our output. So you may be wondering how you can really apply that to your work. And I provide here a brief example of a single marker trait analysis. And you'll note that Actually, this code and data is not, at this point, provided to you online. And here, we want to test the association between a trait and a marker, looking at one marker at a time. So we're going to just use the simple linear model, where our trait is proportional to our marker, and then we can write a for loop. So we have for, and then we have a sequence, so for, for x, from the third column to the end of the column of our data, or to the end of the columns in our data sets, and the 3 is because our marker data begins in our third column, and then we have our series of expressions. So finally, I'd like to just provide you with a couple of commands that you can use to obtain help. And this would really be to obtain help writing particular commands within R. So these help functions show you what is required uh, when you're entering a command. And you can also submit a question to the R help mailing list. So you can sign up for the list, submit questions, um, and it seems based on my experience that these questions are answered by statisticians, people with knowledge of R. I would caution you to make sure that you um, that your question has not been previously answered. So you can search through all the questions that have been asked and answered. And this is actually, I believe, a very valuable resource. 